This house is holding uh, about 30,000 layers. The house is uh, auto, automated. The drinking, the feeding, and the, the chicken droppings. Let's, let's go to the most interesting question. How much are we talking about? The system alone, I bought it 200 million, but it will stay longer. It will stay for more than 10 years, so it, it will give me a return. The building is also huge. It's about uh, 150 million, but the building is also here to stay. It's permanent. On average, how many trays of eggs do you produce? These days we produce 1,600 trays per day. Yes. How do you manage eggs? I know they are delicate. They are, I mean, this is money. Yes. So how? The eggs are not so much delicate like people think. Uh, you handle them with care. Of course, you know that if you if, if you uh, leave it to fall, it will it will break. So you handle with care. You know you're handling money. And if, if you leave the eggs to break, then they will have no feed for the birds. So, and the birds will have given you the what? The, the, the eggs. Once they give you eggs, they count you to give them feed the following day. So you have to be so much careful as a farmer. You need to know that this is money, so you handle it with care. But it's very easy. Once you put them on the tray, it is okay. They are safe. You put them on tray, you don't put them down. Guys, I know, I know, um, he says it's easy, but you and I who are just going to begin poultry farming, it could be a very difficult thing to do. Please share with us what are some of the important tips. Some people uh, take the, the trays in the houses, in the poultry houses, of which I don't advise because uh, for biosecurity issues, uh, you don't need to take these trays because these, tr these paper trays, you cannot disinfect them. If once you try to disinfect them, then they, they, they get wet and then you lose them. So if you have plastic, you can take them in the houses. But for us here, what we do, we bring eggs in the bucket. So when we bring in the bucket, then we start putting on the trays like you see what those guys are doing. Then we put them on the stack like this. We put them together such that they can support each other in terms of, so of, of strength. So once you put them here, you are, the security is guaranteed unless when something comes and fall on it but they are strong. Then from here, we load them on trucks and take you to the market, and they reach well. Which market? Where is the market? We have uh, many places. Uh, we sell eggs in Jinja, Kamuli Town, Busia. We have our outlet in Busia. We even send eggs to Sudan. So we, we, we are selling eggs everywhere. So you're telling me the market is there? Yeah, the market is there. You would have uh, found the store very full of eggs, but now these are the eggs for today. And uh, people are coming here, they want to buy eggs, but we don't have eggs. These are a few eggs now. Mr. Engineer, can you explain the mm. fact that in this, how do you call it? The cell. The cell. There mm. are three, mm. and in others there is one, and others there is two. There is two. Mm. No, they are, they are supposed to be uniform, three of uh, birds, but sometimes you, we, we found the other one is dead. So if it has been in this cell, that means it will never come back. Oh. So, so, oh. Yeah, so oh. it has died. So those are the things, sometimes they get accidents and your friend dies and then you remain alone. You know, so the cell, the cell you, you, you see that there are two or one maybe that means the friend died, those, those kind of things. So tell us, how does this entire thing operate? How does it function? Uh, like here, this is the feeders. And here you see, this is the nipple, this is where the water is. So the birds uh, pick water from here and they pick feed from here. But they drop their, 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 their droppings, drop down under that, uh, that, uh, that trench. And then there's a machine that comes and moves uh, the droppings up to the end where they come and pick it and then take it to, to where they dump. So when they lay eggs, the eggs come here. Eggs just move freely and they come here. These ones, are the, these are the rods. This is where the, 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 the supply of the feed machine passes. It passes on this. There's some sense I'm not understanding. How does the, this bird pick water from here? They, 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 they pick by their beak, the, the mouth. They know that? They know that. They, know that. <laughs> they pick with their mouth. I, are we, you can see this one. Oh. Yeah, it's enough. This, first of all, the advantage of this is that the water is clean. It's enough. The bird takes what, what is enough for it, you see? Yeah. It takes what is enough for it and clean, clean water. It gets clean water, you see? It's picking. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'm saying this for the first time. But these systems have been here for a long time. This is the oldest system that has been available on market worldwide. 
It is called A type. Which other types are there? There is also H, H type. Uh, H type takes bigger number than A type. And uh, there's also deep litter where the birds are free on the house. They move on their own, they move freely. They, 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 they play. Here there's no playing. They are confined in one cell and they will be there for the rest of their life. So it's, it's as an advantage that you keep bigger number in this house. If we were to keep a uh, deep litter on, in this house, we would uh, keep here 11,000, but now we are keeping there 30,000. You can see extra of 1,000, I mean 19,000 birds. So uh, that is the advantage. But even the other one, the deep litter also has advantage that the birds are moving. Free. In a, a, yeah. So are they so stressed? But be, no, they, are, they are stressed sometimes. If, if we vaccinate them, then they are stressed more. But they, there is also anti-stress. Oh. Yes, there are chemicals that are anti-stress. Mm. So they, they, they can have anti-stress. And um, But the issue is, this is business. Yeah. Uh, a person would think of how much is earning from the house. If you put this, you put 30,000 birds. If you leave them to play the way they want, they, 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 you, you put there 11,000. And you miss the 19,000 uh, birds to be in the same house. So that means you will build many houses if you want to keep them on the litter. You will have bigger land. The management of the farm will become also very difficult. So those are the things. So when you, 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 you have them in, in, in battery cage system, you can have few houses, but manageable. It's very easy to manage, easy which to is manage. very important yes. in poultry farms. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Small space, good production, but, uh, but not big uh, management. Yes. Can I keep my lock buds in, in a system like this? But it can be expensive for you because for them they are not good in producing. Uh, it will be expensive for you to keep them like this because for them they are not commercial like this. These are commercial birds. They, they feed themselves. Uh, actually, what they give you can, can, can sustain them and you, yourself. So the other local birds, I don't know. I need that science from those who are doing it. I don't want to go into discussions with them. But uh, I don't think it is possible for, for... I've not seen one keeping them like that. But uh, what I didn't tell you is uh, the quality of the eggs. Eh? Look at the, the, the shell. Uh, the shell, mm -hmm. you, you look at it, it is one, it's brownish, okay. and, uh, and, and it looks strong. Yes. It, it, it is in a good color, this is a normal color, mm. but once you see white, uh, uh, when you see white in brown, uh -huh, that one. Uh, this one, either the, 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 the bird which is producing this one is a, a white bird, what you know white bird? White bird produce white eggs also. They are white layers also. Yes, but 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 if it's not a white, it is a brown bird and it's producing white. Mm -hmm. Then there must be something wrong. Either they have cough, or they have uh, Newcastle, and the Newcastle sometimes comes with cough, or uh, IB. Something is wrong. If the bird is brown and it starts producing white eggs, then something is wrong. So how do you ensure there is constant production of that number of eggs on your farm? Now once birds start producing and uh, they are healthy, they have to produce every day. If they don't produce, then something is wrong. But that, that is an alert to us that they, something is wrong. So we, we have to check. That's why we have uh, vet doctors around the, the, yeah, so to, to keep checking. Uh, what is the, uh, the, how the birds are moving, the, the actual, to ensure health on the, on the farm. So if I want this system, mm. who can install it for me? We, we can link you with the supplier. Uh, are they available? Yeah, they are available. Yes, uh, the Chinese are there. Mm. We can link you with them. Or you can ask us to help you with our boys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it depends on what you want. Would you advise someone to take on this system? If you have the money and you want to do good business in poultry, you can do this, you can invest in this. And then uh, you use it, because what I advise, if you invest it like this, use it well. Okay. Please, stock. Keep it stocked. Don't just keep it empty. It will not make you money. 
if it is empty. So you stock and use it maximum. Yes. Talking about stocking, uh, from there to there, how long is it? It is 120 meters, the length. 120. Meters, yes. The length of this building is 120 meters. The reason why we made a long one is to maximize the use of the motors. You saw motors there. Those motors, if you ask them to pull uh, chicken roping of 50 meters, they do. If you ask them to pull uh, 30, 10, they do. But their maximum is 150. So it is up to you. We either give them small work or give them heavy work that they are meant to do. So for me, I gave them uh, almost the, the, the maximum that, that they're supposed to do. Because it's 120, but they do 150. Like you mentioned, this is one of the modern technologies in poultry farming in Uganda. Yeah, in Uganda it's modern, uh, but there are also Ugandans that have um, uh, uh, H type uh, that they are using in their farms. But this is one of the most. How, uh, how different is this one from H type? This is A. It is in shape A. Yeah, like you see, it is in shape A. Yes. Okay, okay. So the other one is in shape H. Uh, <laughs> I would love to see that sometime. Do you yes. have... Uh, you, we are going to see from the end, you will see that it is A. a. Yes. Okay. Mm. Are there any future prospects of you having it here, H. the H type? Yes, yes, we are moving. We are moving. We are moving and improving technology, uh, making the management so easy, and also maximizing what we have. Yes. I'm just imagining how many workers... If, if, we, if, if we had the H type here mm -hmm. in this house, then it would double again. Really? This is 30,000, for it it will have again 60,000. Yes. So that's, that's how it works. But it is expensive in buying. The, 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 the cost of buying is high. So it depends. Mm. I'm just imagining having this in one room mm. and then how many people would be required? Uh, we have few people. We, we have each person manages a line and there are four lines here. So four people, they, they manage a line. As we are still moving around, how do you manage your employees? I mean, <laughs> any techniques you have to share? One, we first skill them uh, because this bus needs skilled people and uh, after skilling them, then we, we, we allow them to start working with us. If you don't have skills, then you cannot manage working here in this farm. So we, we, we add them value of skilling. And then after skilling them, then they, they, they start working with us. So that means if someone leaves your farm, they can go and start their own? Yeah, of course they can do their own farm. They can manage people's farm. So this is where the, the other machine brings the, the chicken dropping. And then the other tractor is the... How often do you... Do you they, they do it daily. They, actually, they should have removed all this, but they're waiting, I think, for the driver to, to remove the, the, the tractor. But I can help them remove the tractor. <laughs> I know how to do this. You, you know how to do it? Yes. Mm -hmm.